No, yes. Okay, yeah, so um, my name's Todd, and I'm with the, um, the um, County Freedom Coalition, and we're here with Hans, and I can't even begin to pronounce your last name. I would just, <laughs> I would get it wrong. I'm not the only one. <laughs> so I don't even want to attempt that, so. You, but, you know uh, my, my real, uh, most people, they call me Dieter. But oh, okay, it's yeah. It's written like Dieter. And uh, yep. though I trained because I have Hans Dieter, yeah. Yeah. And when people called me Dieter, I started to call call me better Hans. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I I know, yeah. My family's we had some German side and Austrian side of the family, so I know some some German words. You know, I would know yeah. it was Dieter. So yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So, but uh, <clears throat> just get it. Uh, just start off with some simple questions there. Um, where were you born? Uh, in Frankfurt on Main which is in Hessen, West Germany, and there where I grew up in a little village. And uh, <clears throat> then um, I went uh, then to gymnas gymnasium as one of the first from the village. And I was very fortunate because I didn't speak real German. We speak a slang in this area. And I had a teacher who obviously recognized my potential and uh, she gave me a hard, hard time till I spoke German. And <laughs> later on, I figured out that uh, that was the best thing what could happen to me, that you had a teacher because now here they, they find all excuses. They would say, oh, the poor guy comes from a little village. Yeah, he doesn't speak German. Yeah, so he needs extra help. And you know what else they come up with. And uh, I was also very fortunate when I was in America that I could invite her. She visited us here and I could thank her once more for all she has done for me because a tough teacher which recognizes the potential and help you to succeed is something which is invaluable. Oh, yeah. It's... Unfortunately, that is nowadays not uh, not anymore here yeah, because I was a professor, you know, at CSU in physics and um, there is a lot of things going on which I had to learn coming from Germany. When I went to the university, uh, we were about 120 students in the beginning. We were waiting for a professor. No professor came in. And hmm. suddenly somebody stood up, which we thought was one of the co-students. And he went in front and he looked around that 120. At the end of the semester, we will be 60. Wow. Can you imagine that happening here? <laughs> you yeah, no. Get <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't, uh, that wouldn't happen here. No. So is, was that in, that was in, was that in East Germany? No, no, Frankfurt, West Germany. Oh, it is West Germany. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know right right exactly where the line. No, in East Germany, I probably would sit in prison. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah, in the so... former East Germany. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Or some Soviet gulag somewhere, or yeah, yeah. Russian gulag by now. So, yeah. yeah. So, um, um, so you went to um, university in Germany. Frankfurt. Yeah, Frankfurt. Yeah. Well, go to university in Frankfurt. Yep. And what was what did you, you said? Physics. Yeah. Okay. And then um, when did you immigrate to the U.S.? Uh, actually, I didn't immigrate. I got a phone call in Germany if I would be interested to join Los Alamos National Lab. Oh, they yeah. They need my expertise, and I said, okay, I have a look. Yeah, and I really liked it. Yeah. Was before I was at Princeton University, the first time when I was in America, and I said, I'll never go back to America. The East Coast, you could give me millions, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go there. <laughs> yep. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and uh, a colleague convinced me then to go to Arizona. I was then at Arizona State University, and oh. I, after I, I didn't want to go, but I mean, it bugged me such a way yeah, that finally I said, yes, okay, I come for a certain time and look at it. And when I went there, I I felt home. It was really amazing. Yeah. So, uh, and then I made a mistake because I got such an offer from Germany that I went back. But I never, once you are in America, you don't adapt to uh, the German way anymore. Oh, really? because uh, this is so different. Yeah, like uh, uh, when I came there, yeah, this professor there who brought me over to Arizona, he uh, gave me a, a project, yeah. And then I figured out the way like he wanted to have it done wouldn't work. So I went to him and said, 
He was, his name was Tom. I said, Tom, uh, the way how you want to do it doesn't work. But I know a way to do it and I can do it if I need, but I need some money. And he looked at me and said, I don't believe you, I, but I give you the money. If it doesn't work in three months, you can go home. Mm. And after it worked, yeah, you can imagine you are rewarded. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, uh, that never would happen in America, in Germany. When the professor doesn't agree with you, uh, you wouldn't get the money. There's would, no yeah. way that something like that can happen. And many of these things yeah, uh, convinced me that uh, going to America was a decision which I never regretted. So you, something which uh, people don't uh, don't appreciate here anymore. That really makes me sad. They don't know what they have in the Constitution. Yeah. Oh yeah. We we have a lot of things which are not right here. I mean, you know by yourself, there are things we could improve. Yeah. Oh yeah. The general trend here yeah, is so much better than what I have experienced ever in Europe. I yep. mean, uh, people. I mean, it depends also on the people. If you are willing to. Uh, sacrifice uh, freedom for security, you are well taken care of in Europe. But if you don't like that, yeah, if you like freedom more than security, you are much better well uh, off in, in America. As yeah. at least the time when I came, now it's also very different. I mean, what what happened here in the 35 years I'm here now, yeah, I cannot believe that something like that can happen in such a short time and that people don't appreciate anymore what they really have here. Well, I always say that uh, everybody in the States should have to go over to a, uh, um, a, I've been to, the Air Force has drug me off to, to Norway and Iceland and uh, to mm. Sweden, and mm. I've been in the couple of Middle East countries, um, yeah. been to Italy, and it's different. It, of course, the Middle East was completely different than, than the way uh, life is in the in the West, so yeah, a lot of people just need to go out and experience. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your your mind would completely change, and then you'd, you'd yeah. come back here, and yeah. you'd be uh, you'd be really really happy that you, yeah. you live in this this kind of a country. Uh, one has to see. We have to make a choice. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you cannot have both security and freedom. That is not possible. People should see that. Yeah, you have to have one or the other. What? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So and then, yeah, freedom I think is uh, kind of outweighs uh, the security. So. Yeah, if at you least get, for, if, for me and probably for you too. Otherwise, you wouldn't do that. Yeah, but I mean, we have yeah. to face it that there are other people who prefer other things. Well, and and that's and that is part of part of being in America. You can kind of choose what you you know want to do and yeah. why you want to do it. But it's when the people are forcing their ideas on everybody else and trying to make everybody else do what what they wanted to do. Yeah, so, but you see that is also changing. Yeah. Oh you yeah. See what is happening? I mean. And as, as I said, it's totally, I'm totally amazed that something like that can happen in so short, short time. I mean, uh, I, sometimes I could kick myself because when you are in physics, yeah, uh, I didn't know what was happening at the university. Mm. And when I saw what's happening, it was too late. Oh, yeah. Yep. And it, it just sounds like it's getting worse and worse. The whole yeah. education uh is getting worse and worse and worse. So, not, I mean, when you call it education, that's not edu education anymore. No, it's uh, yeah, it's something else. People in don't have to think, yeah, yeah. So you've yeah. been, so you've lived in New Jersey, Arizona, yeah, in, um, in Princeton, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and then um, in um, Los Alamos, other New Los, Mexico, yeah, yeah, and I spent uh, some time at the University of Utah. In, oh really. Salt Lake City. Yeah. And uh, finally, I ended up here at Colorado State, where I then was for 30 years. Uh, 35 oh. years we are now here. Yeah. So you've, you stayed here, huh? You like yeah. it? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I would not, not, not for all money in the world, I would go back to Europe. As I yeah. said, freedom is the most important thing, uh, what, uh, for me at least. Yeah. Well, that's. Not anymore, you are nothing. Yeah. And and that's, that's you know, I, I like to hear and like to talk to to people that have come over and uh, from whatever country that they're from yeah. and you get to talk to them. I even watch people on YouTube when they, when they compare, yeah. when they come over here and they compare things. And, and, and I knew exactly when things were changing because I mean, I basically researched and taught in many countries on three continents. And one of the things I learned, you cannot do anything worse to a person than put him on a pedestal and surround him with people who always agree with him 
because finally they believe yeah that they are the greatest oh yeah and that was yeah. i saw that happening with happened with obama yep and i want everybody yeah i mean i had a lot of discussions with my wife because she read his book and thought he is also a, a oh yeah great man i said wait i mean now she has changed totally the amount he's she saw what he has done because he was the one who started this division i would not call it the united states of america anymore i would call no. it the diverse states of america yeah there's yeah, yeah that... like tribal structure and each tribe is on each other's throat oh yeah it's yeah it's, it's the beginning of our our downfall yeah it's been like that for for quite a while i th and i think the People always say, "Why can't we be the country that was on 9/12?" That you yeah. know, after 9/11, 9/12 was yeah. probably the best when the whole country was all focused and united. Yeah, yeah, yeah united and yeah. and had uh, the same interest and took care of their neighbors. And and I don't think that we've been quite the same since then. You know, probably. Oh, what is also amazing was that. Uh... I had many connections because I, I did uh, it was involved in training courses for the best uh, Russian scientists because the money came from America that we basically trained them and uh, I got so many emails yeah when full support they were up even many of this other, I can only talk for the academic world in Russia yeah but all these people they were on our side oh yeah there's uh, some people that I got to know through <clears throat> through some weird means that uh, they're, yeah. they're Russian. And, you know, I talked to them up until probably three or four days after the invasion and they just, yeah. everything was cut off yeah. and they yeah. were, they were totally against the the invasion over there. And mm. now you can't, now you can't talk to anybody over there. So no, I it's, mean, that was really, but this is from there on, it was basically going, in my opinion was going backwards. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a pretty strange. What was that? Um, oh eight when he took over. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's been pretty. We had a little bit of uh, a little bit of Trump in there, kind of yeah. changed and got some people got to see. Um, you know, they don't like the mean orange guy, but the mean orange guy did some did some uh, interesting things and and moved the country along. And of course, in in a year. It's fallen apart a year and a half. Yeah, but I mean, so. I'm, I'm, I, I agree with you. I mean, I'm, I'm thankful for some of the things I, I, I saw him doing. Yeah, but I told you what I learned. Yeah, when being there. Yeah, when putting somebody on a pedestal. Oh know, yeah. Many of the people here in America destroyed Trump, because again, the, he's he is. I, I don't know if he was all the time, but I had the feeling he got. He thinks now he's our savior. Yep. But there is only one savior. There is not a human yep. savior. Yep. And that yep. is what I'm afraid of. I mean, when I see his rallies, <clears throat> I mean, I saw these things in Europe, in East Germany, in Russia, yeah. The uh, when they had communists, yeah. When oh, they yeah. Had such assemblies, yeah, that basically, basically they were always the great guys and wonderful. And I'm really scared when I see the rallies, how the people behave. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. I mean, there's, there's a lot of uh, if you watch, you know the, the rallies of Hitler, you can just yeah yeah change. Yeah. You can just put yeah. you know superimpose. I mean, uh, Trump is no Hitler. Not that I think I would ever compare him with Hitler. Oh yeah, yeah, but, but you I just see the trend. What people are doing by putting like godlike, yeah, that he can oh, yeah. save us. Yeah, we can yeah. only save ourselves. Yeah. We need oh yeah. Good leaders, yeah, but not that the leaders will save us without us. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it starts, one of the things I tell people, you know, it starts at your local, your local level, your town, your, your city council, your, your school boards, mm -hmm. um, town councils, your, your town mayor, and then it just works up from there, your, your, your county, yeah. up to, up to the county, and then at your state level. Yeah, and, that, that, that <clears throat> would naturally be a, a good idea, but you see what here's going on, what's going on in Boulder, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't understand it. I mean, people fleeing from the so-called blue states, California, Illinois, they come here and they flee from the things they experience there and they hardly hear, they establish it again. Well, because they don't change their voting. They don't change their no, voting it, habits. It doesn't make sense to me. No, they, yeah, they get away from, yeah, they, 
they just move to a different state yeah, yeah. and keep their same, well, you know, what didn't work in California will work in Colorado or it'll work in Nevada or Texas or wherever they, yeah. you know, wherever they move to. And it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. That doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I, I think nope. is there something common sense missing or what is going on in there? Yeah, there's, there's some common. Same, but I would try to install the things uh, which I hated in Germany here again. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. And that's, you know, that kind of leads into one of our, one of, one of the questions I was going to ask you, uh, if an executive of a higher authority, say the governor or the president declares personal rights, like to operate a business, use services, um, attend church, um, are temporarily suspended for a public emergency, what would you do in your role above and beyond voting, protesting, and expressing an opinion to um, – reject the executive action and that's you know that's perfect what you were just saying is um you know we put these guys up on a pedestal we put uh fauci up on a pedestal he's going to save us and you know and nothing happened and we i guess at, at first the pandemic nobody knew what was going to happen so everybody just went along with it because you know we don't know and then mm -hmm. after after a little while people start to get the what's mm -hmm. going on and nobody nobody did anything just yeah. people, and they're still doing it. They're walking around. Probably see it a lot over there in Fort Collins. People walking around with their face masks on and gloves. And yeah, I'm I'm absolute against violence. Yeah, because violence doesn't lead to anything. We see it with the Antifa and all these people. Yeah, and I'm fortunately yep. most of our people are not this type of people. But there there is a thing which I defend. There is self defense, because what what they're doing now is destroying our country, and they destroy the future of our kin children and grandchildren. And oh, yeah. That when when they start to fight, yeah, because, I mean, I saw a post on Facebook again, which I objected heavily and was attacked for. They, they write down, they would like to neuter all feral Republicans. Oh, yeah. Our <clears throat> Democratic friends, or so-called, they are not Democrats anymore. I mean, I always say so-called Dem Democrats, because words have a meaning, yeah. When we call okay. them Democrats, they have nothing to do with the Democratic Party of John F. Kennedy. Oh, yeah. John so, F. Kennedy. Uh, yeah, what he would... doing is, is basically left. They are left like hell. Yeah. John F. Kennedy would not be in today's and they, they, way. They, he, he would he would be a Republican yeah. or he'd be a... Yeah. Uh, and uh, what, what makes me very often so sad that many of us, yeah, our people, they fall in the trap they put up for us. Well, and it's the, the that trap starts in in grade school where they yeah. they yeah. just start brainwashing these kids and yeah. and yeah. Um, um, the the yeah. parents my my kids didn't you know we made sure that they didn't fall for those those kind of things yeah. and they would bring this stuff home and we would just be like no you no, the, you, you got to I would not send my children to public schools anymore no yeah it's that it's terrible totally, when you like your kids yeah you cannot do anything worse to them than sending them to public schools yeah um do you believe in a compromise when the constitutional rights are at stake no absolutely no. not absolutely not yeah because there is you know, no you... compromise because that's what they want yeah they hate the constitution and they want to abolish it. They come constantly with democracy. Yeah, we are not a democracy. We are a republic. Took, yeah, we're a our our founders were clever enough to know the danger of a democracy. Yep, that's one of the the favorite things I like to hear. You know, we're a democracy. No, we're not. We're a constitutional republic. Yeah, absolutely. And, yeah, and, and, and they would really like to change that. Yeah, and constantly come. But, but I mean, um, people may hate me for it. But what we have now is mob rule. That has nothing oh, yeah. to do with a democracy anymore. Yeah, no, that's, uh, yeah, a democracy is um, two wolves and a sheep, and they, they vote for what they're going to have for lunch. In informed, in, informed voters, yeah. I mean, uh, when I go to a bank and want to cash some money from my account, I have to show my ID. Yeah, wherever oh, yeah. I go, I have to show my ID. When I want to fly, I have to show my ID. Oh, yeah. But when I want to vote, yeah, you can go there and be uh, yeah. Napoleon, yeah. And <clears> yeah. Vote. You don't have to show your ID. Yeah, there's. I've asked some of the the state senators that I know is like, well, you know what? If you don't need a, an ID, 
then let's just get rid of IDs. If you don't need it, you know, yeah. if no, you no. don't need the most important thing you need an ID for is to vote. Yeah. yeah. You don't need ID for anything else. I don't understand that. Yeah. I mean, that yeah. we all, I mean, nothing is really, look at, at, in Washington. Yeah. Even when, when the Republicans are in power, yeah, they don't do anything. No, they don't. Yeah. They, they didn't do anything with, uh, with, with Bush and they didn't do, no. well, no. I think that the Republicans were just mad that, Trump got elected. They were just going to dig their feet in and not do and not do anything with him. So, yeah, all we can do is just hope that uh, in this next election cycle that we do get a big, the big red wave come along and and hopefully, hopefully they do something. You, you see, I always say we are our worst enemies. Oh yes, we are. I mean, when when I mean, I mean, I understand it a little bit because when I run it, there was running for office here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I always thought money doesn't matter, values matter, yeah, values matter, but you have once in a while you have to think strategically. When oh, you yeah. don't do that, yeah, I mean, I see so many people when they don't agree hundred per when the uh, um, candidate doesn't agree hundred percent with them, they hate him. I mean, I think even when somebody I agree with sixty seventy percent, it's still better than a damn Democrat. Oh yeah. There's, I mean, yeah. when we don't learn that. Yeah, I mean, I had to learn it too. Yeah, but oh, yeah. if we don't do that and think think in a strategic way, yeah, we will never win an election again. Well, and I always and I, I see this as a problem, and it's probably a, um, it's probably a whole Republican Party thing, or maybe it's just the state thing. Uh, people when they you know they during the primaries they have somebody that they really really like and they want yeah. to vote for yeah. and that person doesn't make it to the ballot yeah. Yeah. they they go i'm not going to vote because yeah. my guy isn't in there and and yeah. so i'm not going to go vote so you're just handing over the wins to the the democratic side because yeah. i always just i always tell people they they can put up a block of cheese and they'll lock arms together yeah. and they'll yeah. go vote they'll go vote for that block of yeah. cheese and they don't care yeah. and and us well we'll we'll fight fight everybody well, Democrats do that yeah they wherever they put up i always say sometimes when they put up a chimpanzee and they the democratic yep they'll they, they vote for him too they'll vote yeah they'll vote doesn't matter what what they put up they yeah. will lock uh, lock arms together and they'll go to the polls and they'll vote for that for that yeah. democratic candidate so it doesn't matter what it is and, and when you think our our country is at stake yeah and then have such an attitude that once once in a while it's only one or two issues that they hate a candidate. Oh yeah. When I saw the analysis, we have a, a guy here is Dan Betts. Yeah, I mean he is really fantastic. He was the uh, assistant to uh, Corey Corey Gardner. Oh yeah. And he he can he is really a thinker. Yeah, he analyzes all the things, and you wouldn't believe how many Republicans voted uh, for Democrats hmm. in, in in Fort Collins. So uh, Fort Collins is uh, district. Yeah. Yeah. The. Uh... Because of one, they disagree in one or one issue, yeah, and then they they, they don't see when they vote for a Democrat what that really means. Oh yeah, it means. So, look, I mean, when when you think about it, and we have abortion law, yeah, which uh, you you can do abortion here in Colorado up to the birth. Oh yeah, today, that yeah, murder. that has nothing to do with abortion. No, it has nothing to do with it at all. So, yeah, there's. You know the people are screaming that you know the the Supreme Court took away their right for abortionists. No, that's the, they gave it to the state. What do you think? What I have to fight in with, in Germany with people who believe that? Oh yeah, yeah. They it's, don't see that it's not abort. It's not any. Every state can decide. Yeah. What yeah. Type of abortion law they have. Yeah. Yep. And then it's yeah. People just you know you just hear them screaming all. Oh, this this has happened. It's like no, the Supreme Court gave that decision back to the state, which that's where it should be. Is the state yeah, yeah, yeah. gets that right to to do because we're all into you know, and people don't understand that that a state technically is an individual country, yeah, yeah, and yeah. we can do it what we want, and the federal government is there just to provide the yeah. okay. the protection, provide yeah. the armies to mm -hmm. protect the states mm -hmm. and and. Um, Unfortunately, it's gone completely the other way around. Yeah, yeah. The, the states no, are. I, mean, I would. I totally agree with you. We should have the state should have more rights and can determine their own fate. Yeah. Yeah. All the education, this education department, the first thing I would have abolished. Oh yeah, get rid of the the, the federal the federal education. 
side, leave that information. You know, it's the states that want to decide. And I think, yeah, if the states got to, to pick or decide on what, and I don't even know if that would help nowadays even. In my opinion, uh, a friend of mine, he says, uh, the pain level has to increase, yeah, before change will oh. come. Oh, yeah. And well, at the moment, I don't see that. Uh, no. That we have a chance. I mean, as I said, I'm for years I hear the red wave, the red wave. Yeah. I'm really curious if that will happen now. I hope so much that Heidi Gunnell will, will be elected governor because I got to know her. Yeah. She is our only chance. I mean, not that she, she can change a lot, but she can de delay the decay. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. It's. I mean, it's 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 already so so far progressed, yeah. That in my opinion, yeah, it's really irreversible. You can only de delay delay it. Yeah, or you have to you have to be in power for oh, probably for a long, long time. A, yeah, a, yeah in, in eight years is not going to be well. It would it would help, but yeah, yeah to, as I said, some help would definitely be and some delay, yeah. Yeah, but delay. Permanent change, yeah. I mean, the mindset. I mean, when I read on Facebook, I mean, some of these people, yeah, they, there is no no level of, of common sense there anymore. No, well, what do you think about uh, Italy electing their first right wing uh, person um, and one being a female it's, at yeah, that? It's, it's not, you know, also Sweden has the Swedish party that it's also going to the right. Uh, that I have a certain fear because a, a lot of people think that of uh, right wing or fascism yeah would be a oh solution, yeah yeah and that is you you and i know that that will never be a solution no and no it... my, but really what i mean what she says yeah i agree as she gave us a speech yeah what kind of values she will uh, defend i totally agree with her but you should see she is connected with salvini a guy who thinks putin is one great statesman Oh, she really? is connected with the Bunga Bunga guy. I don't know Berlusconi. If you have heard the name, he was a former uh, president of of Italy too. But he organized uh, like Epstein, yeah, such parties, yeah. Mm. Uh, so she is is not free. She is connected. She needs all these people, yeah, to have a majority. Hmm. So I really don't know. I hope that uh, she will not be drifted too much in this direction, yeah. Yeah, I just I just find it interesting that some of these these countries are starting to you know swing back the other way. The pendulum is kind of swinging. It might not swing far back enough, but it's you know yeah, it's I mean, it's moving slightly, it's, moving back to the. It's, to it's the, always. I mean, when I when I fear something, then it's socialism and fascism. I mean, when you grew up in Germany and have seen uh, what that means, yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not a friend of it. Yeah, I mean. And there is always, this is what I, what I, what I say, in, instead, like, that people do something and, and they can only save themselves. They cannot constantly vote for or people, put people in power, which have not their best interest in mind. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I, yes, I always tell a lot of folks, too, that uh, I went into the military at, at 18, at 19, yeah. and I have been on government run healthcare yeah. for my whole adult life and yeah, it's ter yeah. it's terrible yeah yeah it's yeah. it's it, and people are just like, oh you know we just want free healthcare and it's like no yeah. um it's not free one and yeah. when it comes down to that oh, i want to make an appointment to go see the doctor it's three yeah. four or five months in advance yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah i i have a fear if i break something or get yeah. really sick i won't be able to go see a doctor for a, yeah. a long yeah. time no but so. that is also i mean same with me here when you need a specialist yeah you have to wait yeah. four, five, six, seven weeks. Yeah, I wish it's mine was just so weeks. Much, uh, uh, yeah. It's, it's uh, yeah, but I mean, you see, I mean, and, and what people don't understand, what you said, free stuff, there is no free stuff. No. I mean, somebody has to pay for it. That's what I hate, that people want something, but others should pay for it. Yeah. <clears throat> they don't want to... Uh... They don't want to go work for it. No, they just want to. No. Yeah, they just want to stay yeah. at home and look. When you get a, a roof renewed, yeah, there's oh, an yeah. American, and when there is American, he stands there and basically commands the other people. Oh yeah. Or reprimands them. Yeah. I yeah. Was, uh, uh, we got uh, siding on our house, yeah, 
and uh, there were two people of Mongolia. Yeah, and I'm telling you, I have never seen people working like that. We offered them a coffee. Yeah, they refused. Yeah. And then came an American supervisor, and co and, and basically uh, yelled at them. Uh, they should work harder. Yeah. I mean, I sent immediately a letter to the things and then they sent this guy once more. I, I kick him out from my property. Hmm. It's unbelievable. Or when, when something, they would, it, we have a cable other for the internet. It was basically uh, installed in whole Fort Collins. You yep. know who was working? Some people from Mexico. There are two people were working and three people were standing around and watching. I mean, this is yeah, that's a beyond that, my imagination. Yeah, that sounds like a, a good uh, government group of guys. Yeah, two, yeah, two, yeah. two people working and five people supervising. Yeah, yeah. Each each person the getting supervised. I was impressed. They cut an electric connection to our house, and then they got somebody from the city, and the guy really knew what he was doing. That was really a very good experience. That at least oh. there are still some people who know what they are, what they have to do, oh. and is competent enough. Yeah, they know what Any they know what's going on. That's funny. No. That's that's. And I'm yeah. telling you, recently I I went to lunch with a friend and uh, wanted to pay for his uh, for his meal, and I had two tabs. Yeah, then yep. the cashier obviously the computer didn't work, so I went there and with the two things, and she was not able to add two numbers. I had to do it for her. Yeah, it's <laughs> that's yeah that's uh. An interesting one is to watch people try to count change. Yeah. yeah. Oh. When you when you give them a twenty dollar bill and it's whatever, yeah. ten ten dollars and thirty seventh. Yeah. Twenty seven cents. Yeah. And, yeah. and they, they it's like yeah, it's just something simple as just to learn how to count change. It's not that difficult, yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah, just to count change, and mm. that that is it's too bad because that's a, a lost. Um, yeah, if the computer doesn't work and doesn't tell them how much to give back, yeah, they yeah. don't. Uh, they they don't. I mean, I can't that's... believe it. I mean, I, I knew that I have some experiences as a professor. I have that you sometimes wonder, but that is was so bad. I had no idea. Well, it's because it's the computer age. You know, they just everybody now relies on on that stuff, and um, um, even like this, this is oh, yeah, you know, yeah. you're you're, you're yeah. you know. It's would it would be difficult to go to Fort Collins and set something up to to do something at your place and vice versa. So and this is so much so much easier and so much faster. And I when I regret one thing uh, is that when I was in Germany, uh, the company who made chips here, yeah, they came oh. and asked because they had a failure rate which was not acceptable, mm -hmm. and they wanted to know if we can find out what causes the failure rate. And fortunately, we found out. Yeah, but. I mean, it would not have prevented the cell phone, which I only call devil's device, yeah. But uh, it would have delayed it probably. Yeah, a couple. So when, of... when I would have to do it again, I would never do it again, again. <laughs> yeah, that's the. Yeah, I, I I like to tell my kids, you know, that uh, the cell phone, just this little cell phone. Yeah. It holds more. It does more inform. It does more stuff than. Um, what you know you had in the early 70s you had a you had cameras and video yeah, tape recorders yeah, and yeah, yeah. yeah you had all that stuff and now it's just down to one cell everything phone everything is can be used when it's used wisely it's good yeah oh yeah i hate it now that everyone wants to force you to have such a thing to load down an app <laughs> i just no i said no way yeah yeah you gotta you, you gotta know, download that not putting all these apps on yeah and yeah and yeah that's... Be, uh, uh, sacrifice any privacy they have no idea that they control everything over that look oh yeah it's digital uh, tyranny in china now oh yeah they can control you you are not able to get in your house yeah when they don't allow it on your cell phone yeah so if you happened with excel yeah that suddenly people couldn't change their temperature anymore yeah people see it and, and they say okay it's okay yeah i think that's people are gonna yeah, the, like you said, the people haven't been put in enough pain yet. So, yeah, no, that's um, says, yeah. yeah, when it when they start to yeah. when they start to feel the pain of what's yeah. going on, they'll uh, that's they'll my only hope. Yeah, before yeah. there is no real change. Yeah, as I said, we can delay and change a little bit, but we, we read what Obama called the transformation, and 
favorably he succeeded with the transformation of America. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, that's it's done. It's very, very difficult to reverse it. Yeah, that's probably the one thing that protects us from them is the Second Amendment because they take that away and oh, it's, God, yeah. it's yeah. over. It's yeah. over. Yeah, they don't There's... see every, every, like Hitler took away all the weapons, yeah, and China and, and Russia. Oh, yeah. yeah they... Once they succeed in that, yeah, that's my only, at least, I was never so proud in my life to be an American than when I read the story of the three boys in the train in France. Which oh yeah, neutralize the terrorists and all yeah. the other they cowered and other we shot yeah than to do something. Yep, yep. And that's that's. Boys still did something. Yeah, we still have some people you I I really are proud of. Yeah, that was a. Yeah. I mean, it's like uh, a needle in a haystack. Yeah, that's a that's an Air Force guy. Yeah. 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 So yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, it's always good. Uh, I always try to find the good stories on Facebook and share those things instead of the yeah. Me, me too. I mean, the, I, I, the bad the stories. Moment, uh, I'm getting more like uh, I, I I like history. Yeah. I yep. mean, Not knowing history, I think you repeat mistakes over and over again. Oh yeah. There's a lot of things uh, history about American Indians, which I like and and share here yeah, because I think that should be shared here yeah, that people can see it. Yeah, and, and, and uh, even on Facebook you can find other things, other like flowers. Yeah, I post like beautiful flowers because in all this misery we experience to see something like that beautiful, which reminds you that we have a creator. Yeah, uh, is something you need. Otherwise, you lose your sanity. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's. Yeah, you got to see the uh, American Indians in what? Did you live in Santa Fe? Or did you live up live up in Los Alamos? Los Alamos. Yeah. Did you live out there? Yeah. So but yeah, we get... visited very often. I mean, I, 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 I really, I mean, I, I really like New Mexico because they have uh, this different cultures. Oh and yeah. It amazed me uh, when we visited uh, other the Indian tribes. Yeah. Yeah. They have not much, but they share it with you. They invite oh, yeah. you to eat with them. Yeah. Something you would never see in in our society here. No. Yeah. No. Nope. That's that, that was one of the points. I was stationed in Albuquerque for thirteen years, yeah, so yeah, 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 I know exactly what you're what you're talking about. But so, yes. Albuquerque is now very dangerous. Yeah, and I man, wouldn't. A friend of mine he worked at Sandia National Lab, and his wife and a neighbor came home on Sunday, and she a neighbor went in her house and was shot by a burglar there. Really? Mm. Yeah. And then yeah. This, this friend of mine he said. When we don't move, I get a divorce. So they move to South Dakota. Oh yeah, that's yeah. I don't think I could live up the weather up there. It's the weather's no, no, bad. It's it, it's. I went there in, and also uh, uh, when you have to drive for an hour to see a doctor in my age. That is yeah, not very no. Nice to do it. <laughs> yeah, it's too it's too windy and too cold and yeah, yeah. everything's too far away and. Yeah, yeah that, you're in the middle of nowhere. No question about it. I mean, when you are young, my my dream was always. I don't know if you know the Hamas Mountains. No. This is a, a magical. It's a caldera, the big caldera behind oh. the house. It's a magical place. Mm. I always thought when we retire, yeah, uh, we could move there and retire there. But my wife said, "Look, when we are in that age, we need some amenities. <laughs> we yeah. cannot move. The, when we are young, we could do it." But yeah. not when we are retired and uh, in age where you cannot do that anymore. And yeah. I saw also here my colleagues who moved from the mountains, they all came back. Oh yeah, I always we always make fun of yeah. the uh, the people because uh, you know they go, oh, it'd be beautiful to live in Estes Park, and they go up there and yeah, they spend yeah. the summer, and then they spend the winter, yeah, and yeah. after the winter's yeah. over, everybody sells their houses because they're like that was terrible, yeah. and they, they don't want to be they don't want to be a part of that. So actually, <laughs> for yeah, yeah, so. no, it's quite amazing. Yeah, that's. I always think, yeah, I want to move to Estes Park or somewhere up in the mountains, and then it's like, no, it's going to snow up there any day now. And, for a while. I, yeah, I don't want to be. I mean, you are right. I mean, I feel the same. Yeah, don't but, want to be a part uh, of that cold. What are we without dreams? Yeah, sometimes you oh, get yeah. dreams. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got a dream, and and you do have to go and visit places and travel and go yeah, see how yeah. other people live and um go uh yeah, yeah. what you're right you, you have when you don't see uh, uh other places you don't appreciate what you have 
Oh, oh yeah. yeah. People always think the grass is greener on the other side. The grass yeah. is not greener there. No, the grass is the same, and it's got dog poop over there too. So it, it just, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's the same. It's the same. It's just the same. People, you know, just yeah. don't realize until you go, you know, until you go someplace um, where they don't have those those freedoms. And yeah, you know, this this spring we're going to go to Italy, and it'll I think it'll be a shock for my my youngest son. He's twenty four. He's going to go with us, and yeah. he's going to see that you know they don't have the same the same kind of stuff that we do yeah, here yeah. No. and it's going to be a shock yeah. but that's but that's you know it's going to be um it'll be good for him throughout the rest of his life to be able to, to look back and to, that's the and best to, thing what you can give to your kids that they learn to appreciate what they have here oh yeah yep you gotta gotta take them to some place where they don't have those things and, 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 and don't let them tell the others that america is systematic racist and all this crap which they try to put in the head of our kids yeah no it's uh yeah it's um it's a little bit scary times living in right now so okay. hopefully so so i mean you are still younger than me but for me i mean we have rich there but i have kids and grandchildren otherwise i would say oh yeah. yeah yep no you gotta you gotta worry about those when we are silent yeah we basically our children lose their future yeah yep we can't be silent yeah, that's one thing I don't have yet is grandkids. Thank goodness, because yeah, it's yeah. just it just to... something. And uh, I mean, this is really important. Yeah, I mean, when we did lead reach a couple of people, we can rely on and, and know that we will be shoulder and shoulder when it comes to the worst. Yeah, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. And unfortunately, I've lived through some pretty bad stuff in the military. Not like you have, but. Uh, um, yeah, people in that type of a organization, they learn to rely on each other because you're there. You know, by your family's not yeah, there, yeah. nobody's there. So you, you know, your 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 people that you work with is your family, and and when something happens, you everybody relies on everybody else. My son, the one was in the the army, and the other with the air force. Yeah, yeah. But you cannot get a better education than in the army or in the air force. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I try to People underestimate him. I mean, the, the resort is like my son, he repaired the uh, engine from the helicopters. No, oh. every student had uh, such an engine and they took it apart, assembled it, yep. took it apart, assembled it again. In in private uh, practice, you don't have that. Yeah, you, can, you don't have the time. Yeah, and, and it's, the resources. Yeah, yeah you got you to gotta do it. Uh, you got to learn it quick. And if you're not quick enough, you they have 10 other people that are in line to replace you so yeah that's yeah that's a good thing uh, about when, when you think about it i mean two of my kids the one by by a miracle he was saved he was twice in iraq by a miracle he was saved yeah and we sent this this people they sent our people in, in the war and have you read the last poll that 60 percent of the so-called democrats yeah would not be willing to defend the country here like the Ukrainians did or do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you... they would leave the country instead of fighting. Yeah, you just you look at uh, those and and even, the, you know, the the Iraqis and the Afghanistans, you know, they they the Afghanis, they you know, they fought for their country. You know, we see it as the wrong side, but they they fought for their country and, and yeah. you know, to, to the death. And how many people here would do that if, no, no. if yeah. you know, if, yeah. if China and, and, decided to attack us? And, or... and then, I mean, uh, I, when people come here for a so-called better life, yeah? I mean, why in all world do they do something in, in their own country? Yeah. Well, yeah, how, how well, how do they fix, I how mean, do they fix? It, it, I mean, Look where we were when, when we didn't have the people which fought before the Revolutionary War. Yeah. Our people yeah. died yeah, for freedom and established a country, and they they don't want to do that. Yeah. I Yeah, that's it's an interesting, you know, an interesting point is how many, if it really got ugly, how many people would, would, uh, would volunteer or would volunteer to get into the, uh, into the military? Or how many how many people have to get drug into it uh, yeah. to to uh... yeah, and when mostly what they are basically people Republicans face it. Well, yeah, 
was yeah. different as i said the time of kennedy all the presidents they served in the military yeah kennedy served in the military yep and look what we have now yeah i don't think uh uh bush senior he was in world war ii and uh yeah, the younger bush touched it well he was in the he was in the uh rotc or the reserves he was a reservist so he was yeah. still in the military but that's different yeah from yeah but it is country, yeah. yeah but everybody else from yeah. him they didn't serve and and clinton didn't serve and yeah none of nobody else served in the military yeah i think that's an important um thing for people to realize to serve to serve your country and and then that's the same thing as when you're going to go get elected as a oh yeah i mean in, in anything that is my hope yeah because more and more like Eric Atlan, for example, yeah. It's mm -hmm. fantastic that he is running. And many of them who served in the military, yeah, they are now willing to serve or be running for, for office. Yeah. And the, those those people understand what it means to to serve yeah. and yeah. and yeah. Yeah. and and yeah. what the sacrifices are and, and things yeah, like I that. Mean, so that that is for me is an enormous plus point, yeah. When somebody is willing to sacrifice his life for his country, yeah, that should be which we should value. Yeah. Or when, yep. imagine this guy, yeah, when there are many veterans now, they are in troubles where they're living. And then the answer is from our great president, look for food stamps. This is unbelievable yep. that the country is doing that to their people, yeah, who defended them. Yeah, they did that to, I believe, the army not too long ago. They cut, um, I think they cut some um, certain ranks pay. Yeah. And some of the lower ranking uh, people in the army started applying for food stamps and yeah, yeah. and people wanted to know, well, why are we... It was a recommendation. I, I don't know if Biden was, but at least came from the Democratic side and go on, uh, apply for food stamps. Yeah, yep. It's, it's just like, for we me, shouldn't... It's unthinkable, yeah, that somebody could, could act in such a way. Yeah, we shouldn't be having anybody serving in the military... Uh, applying for food stamps whatsoever. No, so, no, that, no. That, a country has the obligation, then not that, that that doesn't happen. Yeah, well, no, it doesn't. Trust me, it doesn't happen. Yeah, I've yeah I retired after twenty one years, and it doesn't it doesn't happen. So yeah, but so. it tells you about the mindset we have now in America. I don't think that that would have happened fifty or sixty years ago. Oh no, probably not even. Yeah, not even. Oh well, yeah, probably not even thirty years ago. Yeah, it yeah, would no, have. I, I, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, probably wouldn't have happened. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But now it's yeah, it's just like second nature kind of thing. People are just yeah, just go get food stamps or they call it build America build better. Bet, bet, bet. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's <laughs> Yeah, it's not it, yeah, it's it, not also I mean I, I most I mean I figure out many of these democratic voters don't even know I could never vote for a guy who states publicly we democrats choose uh, truth over facts mm, yeah How can you this one sentence yeah would never allow me to vote for somebody like that well they their famous thing was uh follow the science for the uh yeah, yeah. for, so for covid that. and then when the science proved them wrong they were like oh you know you know, the people are <laughs> people are scared now. Well, yeah, because you've been lying to them for for so yeah, long, yeah, yeah. and now yeah. there's you know people are scared and they believe what you said, and yeah. and uh, that's what they they go by and they don't. No, but uh, but I mean, uh, uh, I, I also was fooled, yeah, because in the beginning, yeah, uh, after my son is a neurosurgeon, yeah, so we discussed a lot about the vaccine, yeah, but now it comes out that more and more side effects. Yeah, I mean, I'm not willing to take the fourth vaccination. Yeah, yep, it's because when, when, when uh, I mean, it's it's it's. Uh, but I mean, but when you don't have the information, yeah, uh, it's very difficult to make an uh, informed decision. Well, yeah, that, that was the biggest that was the biggest problem. Those first probably six months of of covid was there was no information you just you know people were getting Absolutely. sick and and people were dying and you didn't know what was going on and um sure. some people took advantage of that process and um and pushed it along and, and kept it going and and 
And I, I don't know but that uh, it takes very often it takes time. I mean, I'm I'm still convinced that the some of other, this basic protection everybody has, yeah, that that is helpful. That you don't end up in in the hospital or die, yeah. Yeah. But God surprise, yeah. It's with any medication, yeah. It has side effects. Oh yeah. And it doesn't basically hit everybody, but a lot of people will be hit. Yeah. Some people, yeah. Some people are going to get it, and it's they're yeah. not even going to know that they have it. And some people yeah. are going to get it, and they're going to. Um... I mean, that is really, really amazing. Yep. It's. But, um... I mean, in matching, I mean that. It is unthinkable that every half year you should have a vaccination. I yeah, mean, where there's no. bleed, in, I mean, you can overdo some certain things. Yeah, that's that's one of the the, the crazy things in the military. Is I've been vaccinated for yeah, for everything. everything, so why can't we get a vaccine against the the Democrats and then uh, and don't don't have to think the way they do? That would be great. You know, but, I, I once worked also in India and we got all this vaccination. Oh yeah. From my wife. <laughs> You will never do it. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, there's... Yeah, but it's necessary. I mean, when you go to a country like that without vaccination, I mean, it's not, uh, that is too dangerous. Oh, yeah, I, I probably got this. Yeah, same thing when I went to the Middle East. I probably got 10 or 15 uh, yeah. shots for, for, they're like, you need one for yellow fever. And you're kind of like, why do I need one for yellow fever? <laughs> they don't, why? But they're like, just take it anyway. And it's like, okay, yeah, yeah. you know. You got to you got to do what you're told there. So, but uh, yeah, that's funny. So yeah, it's uh, it's unfortunate that uh, um, that people don't see the world through your eyes. That uh, or at least the U.S. through your it's eyes. Terrible. That... I mean, I would never. I even don't want it. Yeah. I mean, you know how that is when everybody agrees with you. That is not what I ever would want. Oh yeah. And you, you cannot grow when you're only surrounded by people who agree with you. Yeah, you got to have, well, yeah, you got to have that. Need, uh, yeah, yeah, people who are honest to you, yeah, and, and help you to, that you can grow. Yeah, sometimes people call that a spouse. <laughs> yeah, <right>. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good, that's a good thing to have is that my wife and I are polar opposites. We don't like anything. We don't like yeah, anything yeah, at, yeah, yeah. To, at all yeah. to, together, so... I know yeah, my com- wife, sometimes when we want to lift too high, yeah, she puts your bed on the carpet. <laughs> yep, yep. So, uh, yeah, that's a good thing to have is some... Um, How long are you married? Um, it is 33 years now. Yeah, we are 52. Yeah, that's... Yep, I'm 55, so I got a little ways to go. Yeah, yeah you still have a way to go. <laughs> yeah, a little ways to go. So, yeah, but yeah. that's... But that's, you know, some of those things where... And this is why we started started doing this is just getting people's ideas and thoughts and you know we get to you get to to think you know we get to see what what you see and and how you feel about uh, the way things are going and they're not going good. I can only comment on it because the only one is send information out. Yeah, I mean we will not reach everybody, but hopefully we can reach a couple of people. Yeah, if we just hit you know as. As I've noticed in in the Facebook realm of of things, and it's probably the same thing with YouTube. You hit the right four or five people, and you're going to go, and you know yep, things yep. are going to take off, and they're going to agree with you. And and the, on the opposite thing, you hit the right wrong four or five people, yep. and you won't get anywhere because they'll put that, but that stifle because because they don't want the spread of information that you have that you're putting out there, and they don't want no, that. So if, uh advice I ever got was from a professor in Germany that don't believe me check it out by yourself yep so don't believe me check it out yeah yeah see yeah think don't for yourself yep don't yeah that's yeah that's the big uh... always told my student yeah be the captain of your own ship don't let people tell you what is best for you you know what is best for you not the yep. others yeah oh yeah that's uh <clears throat> that's strange because that uh, that missed a generation somewhere, and I don't know where it is. Yes, I don't know yes. if it's the um, my parents were baby boomers, and so I'm the generation X. And did it yeah. miss? Did it not get from the grandparents who had their parents go live through the war mm-hmm. and uh, fought in the war? And did it miss my kids? You know yeah, that yeah. next generation down. And then of course, if it misses that generation, does it? 
than not to get picked up the next two or three generations. And, and that's where we're at right now is, you know, these, yeah. these generations um, from kids that were born in the 60s compared to kids that are being born, um, I guess they would have been born in the early 2000s. They don't have that. There's no of that connection. You know, I'm, I'm seen, I'm sure by my nieces and nephews who are in their early twenties that I'm just a, I'm just a ding dong old man who doesn't know what's going on in the world. So, so, and I guess that's the same for, for every generation. I remember going in the military and all those guys that were my supervisors, they're like, look at this kid. He's an idiot. And then when I was that supervisor, these kids would be coming in and I was like, look at this kid. He's an idiot. So, so, yeah, it's, <laughs> it, they get older, they suddenly figured out it was not so bad what we did. <laughs> yeah, no, it's so, yeah, it's, I think it's just one of those generation things of, you know, where did, oh, where did, our three sons, yeah, that is really, they really yeah. turned out. Uh, but I, I believe in tough love, not in this monkey love. Yeah, not your facts over feelings, because your feelings um, are going to betray you almost all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah. And the facts are the facts, you know, the sun's going to come up tomorrow and you can't change that because you don't want to get, you know, you don't want to get sunburned. Well, then you got to stay inside or, or wear something that you don't, you know, you the sun's going to come up. My biggest hope is I, 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 I met a lot of the uh, candidates who's running now and I oh. figured out they tell everybody what they want to hear. Oh yeah. I hope that one day we elect politicians who tell us what we need to hear. Yeah, well, because nobody's gonna. If, if, if that nope. doesn't change, that is one of the first things which have to change. If this yeah. doesn't change, we will not get any. No, like, not much no. hope for us. No, I, and people wouldn't vote for somebody that was going to oh, tell them like it is. Yeah, and they, and they tell you what you need to hear. Yeah, you are not elected. You yeah. don't get the vote. People are offended. Yeah, and uh, then the history lessons were kind of running down the same. You know, lines as uh ancient rome you know they yeah. uh they did the same thing we're kind of doing you know being yeah, yeah. distracted with with spectacle the spectacle of of sports yeah. and things like that and yeah, yeah, uh, no, panem is their senses right and and games look yeah look at the broncos <laughs> uh, oh yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah they it's don't uh kill each other anymore but uh, yeah uh, blood is flowing and people get hurt <laughs> yeah i mean that's we're not far. We, we might not be far away from dragging guys off the field because they got killed. So who knows? Or it'll end up being robots that'll be out there and they're tearing those guys apart. But who knows? So we can but, only hope that Franz Kafka is was wrong. You know what he said? There is hope, but not for us. Well, there's always there's always hope. Hope is always eternal. Yeah, hope yeah, hope right. is always there. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. and and. You know, in the darkest. No, of... no, no, no. I mean, I was asking the same question, and one lady told me, "Because we are Americans, we fight till the end." <laughs> oh yeah, we we'll fight each other to yeah. That's we will fight each other before, <laughs> yeah. and then when somebody else comes in, yeah. you know, we will turn together and fight that other person. We will be fighting each other uh, tooth and nail, you know, scratching each other's eyes out. But when somebody else comes into that fight that yeah. doesn't belong there, we'll both turn yeah. on turn on that that person or that so yeah. i mean there's there's still that american spirit hiding in there somewhere that freedom yeah, no, and especially in the older ones oh yeah the old there yeah are some young people which uh hopefully uh, that they 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 have all the right spirit and the right oh, yeah. intention yep. yeah it's oh not, yeah not all doom and gloom no it's it's i think we get the right head in the right direction and I think we'll, we'll probably be all right. But you know, how much pain are we going to have to go through to get yep. that, that way? Okay. Yeah. Thank so, you. Yes. And thank you for, uh, and thank you for doing such a, 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 a job because information is important. I mean, even when people hate it. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's uh, information. Yeah. It doesn't matter where for me, truth never hurt me, but a lot of people are hurt by truth. Oh yeah. They don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. No, <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, there's people that, that I work with. They don't want to hear or that when the customers. They don't want to hear that. Yeah, 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 You're, yeah. What you ordered is not going to come in for another six weeks. What do you mean? Yeah. 
but it's yeah. just the way it is, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And they they don't hear it, so. So yeah, thanks for uh, for doing this with us, and I yeah. yeah. uh, will uh, we'll get you up there on Facebook. When and... you publish it, can you send me the link? Yep, I will get it published. It just depends on how long it takes the computer, because yeah, I. Right, I have, yeah. I yeah, want should... to send it to my kids, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah, you very be... much. Yeah. Yep, thank you. And we'll Take go care. Ahead. Yeah, and you stay too. Stay healthy. Yeah, stay healthy. Yes, that's the big yeah. one. That's what you got is your health and your sanity. Yeah. And hope. Yeah. And hope. <laughs> yeah. yeah, once hope. in a while you really have to meet the right people. <laughs> that's true. That. That's very true. Yeah. So, yes, okay, thank you. Thank you again. Yeah. Yeah. See you. Bye. Thank you. Please say thank you to uh, Tonya van Baber. Yeah, I'll let her know. She she, she suggested. Quiet yeah, with Mike Lynch and uh, uh, Mike Lynch is a trustworthy politician. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe I'll. Have... She did a great job as a uh, representative in the House in in Denver. Yeah, maybe I'll have to look him up and see if he wants to do this. So. Oh yeah, yeah, Mike Lynch would be a good 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 person. Okay. He's very 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 good. Yeah. Or uh, Eric Atland too. There is another one, uh, uh, Gabe Evans. They all run. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh yeah, I've got a, I've got a huge, I've got a huge list of people that want to do this. So, yeah, I have yeah. a feeling that I'm going to be doing a lot of this, just one right after the other, just, yeah, just yeah, sit, no, sitting I mean, down and, and giving yeah. them the the ability just to speak their mind and yeah. and, and talk about stuff. So that's yeah. that's that's good stuff. So it's always good. Yeah. Always good to hear. Okay. Thanks again. See you okay. again. Okay. Yep. Bye. Thank you. Bye.